judges of the Supreme Court. His Excellency, Mr. Tanman Lal, High Commissioner of the Republic of India, and Excellencies, members of the diplomatic corps. His Lordship, the, the Lord Mayor of Portuis. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and privilege to extend a warm welcome to you at this joint e inauguration of the new building of the Supreme Court of Mauritius. This magnificent building is a tangible demonstration of the strength of the long-standing and deep-rooted relationship that binds Mauritius and India. To you, Shinarendra Modi ji, we bring you our warmest greetings and best wishes on this very happy occasion. Mauritius is indeed very proud to welcome you once again in our midst. This new building certainly bears your personal commitment and your personal imprints. We're very grateful to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies, we are, very no we are now pleased to view a very short video on this new building, which is a state-of-the-art design and which will house the apex body of our judicial system. Thank you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, you would agree with me that this is a very impressive building. It will certainly add value to the physical landscape of our capital city. I am therefore very pleased to invite the Honorable Prime Minister of Mauritius to proceed to the podium for the joint unveiling of the e plaque together with the Honorable Prime Minister of India. Thank you, Prime Minister. 
ministers. Thank you, Prime Ministers. May I now invite the Prime Minister Mauritius to make his address, please. Thank you. His Excellency Sri Narendra Modi Ji, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, His Lordship, the Chief Justice, colleague ministers, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition, Parliamentary Private Secretaries, Excellency, the High Commissioner of the Republic of India, and members of the Diplomatic Corps, judges and staff of the judiciary, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Mera namaskar swikar kijiye. At the outset, I wish to heartily thank Prime Minister Sri Modi ji for demonstrating once again that Mauritius is very close to his heart by accepting to spare some of his precious time to be live with us for the e inauguration of the Mauritius new Supreme Court, despite the crisis and urgencies related to the COVID-19 pandemic. We know how challenging and hectic the current times are for a Prime Minister in the midst of this pandemic that is taking its toll of lives and livelihoods. We commend you and your government, Sri Modi ji, for working day and night to control the pace and spread of the COVID-19 in India. I seize this opportunity to convey our solidarity to you and to the government and people of India. In these trying times, and pray that the whole world gets over this nightmare at the earliest. We also laud the boundless generosity and leadership of India, which at the peak of the crisis did not hesitate to assist countries, including Mauritius, and through Operation Sanjeevni, Mauritius benefited from the critical amount of essential medicines medical equipment, as well as Ayurvedic medicines. Under Operation Sagar, we saw the visit of medical assistance team from India on board the Indian naval ship Keshri for a three-week visit, during which our two countries shared experience in the fight against COVID-19. Ladies and gentlemen, today is another momentous day in the history of Mauritius-India relationship. It is a fact that India has accompanied Mauritius all along its journey towards socio-economic progress. Our shared past, as well as close economic, cultural, and human ties have forged a deep bond between our two countries. Ever since Sri Modi ji became Prime Minister of India, the bond of friendship between our two countries has kept on strengthening. Sri Modi ji, Hamara Desh, Hamari Janta, Aapke Samarthan Ke Liye Abhari Hai. Ladies and gentlemen, in October last, Sri Modi ji and I jointly e inaugurated the first phase of the iconic Metro Express project and a state of the art ENT hospital, both of which have benefited from Indian funding. The e inauguration of the new Supreme Court building marks another significant milestone in the modernization of our country's infrastructure. It is yet another achievement that has been possible thanks to the financial assistance from India. Indeed, the government of India 
has provided a grant of 30 million US dollars for this project. The new Supreme Court building is equipped with all the modern amenities required for a smooth and effective delivery of justice in our country. This building is the result of the hard work and collaboration of many people to whom I convey my expression of gratitude and appreciation. With its 12 floors, the new Supreme Court building will house under one roof the civil, criminal, commercial, family and mediation courts, the chief justices chambers and judges chambers, as well as the administration staff. The synergies which will be created will undoubtedly improve court operations and service to court users. This modern infrastructure will enable our judiciary to take advantage of new technologies to craft innovative and effective measures for making the justice system more efficient, more accessible, and more inclusive. Until now, due to limited space at the Supreme Court, judges had to wait for long periods of time for courtrooms to be free to hear cases. We had to invest in new facilities, and today, this brand new Supreme Court, standing majestically in our judicial landscape, is testimony to our bold response. We took up the challenge because our priorities are guided by the fundamental mission of establishing justice. Sri Modi ji, we know that you uphold the same values. In a speech you made at Prayagraj in March this year, you emphasized that your government's actions to ensure justice for all citizens embodies your philosophy of sabkasat, sabkavikas, sabkavishwas, meaning together for everyone's growth with everyone's trust. Ladies and gentlemen, my government has chosen a focused path towards modernization, but we are, at the same time, conscious of the importance to preserve historic sites and heritage buildings. This is why the old buildings on the existing site of the Supreme Court will be preserved. These buildings, which date back to the French colonial times, will be renovated and will, in the future, house a separate court of appeal. We shall retain as much of the, hist of the significant historical fabric as possible when carrying out the repair works. Ladies and gentlemen, today's event bears out the depth of our determination and commitment to our modernization endeavor for the well-being of our people. This is sacred for us, and I know Shrimodiji, that we both share this philosophy. Before concluding, I wish to once again thank you, Sri Modiji, to grace us by your presence online and to share with us this momentous occasion. May the truth and justice always triumph in this new Supreme Court in the spirit of Satyamev Jayati the Sanskrit mantra for truthfulness and national motto of India, which has been inspiring our people generation after generation. Long live the India-Mauritius relationship. Thank you for your kind attention. Danyavad. Thank you very much, Honorable Prime Minister. 
3 Narendra Modi ji it is beyond the power of words to express our gratitude to you for so kindly accepting to participate in this inauguration ceremony I have therefore the high privilege and honor of inviting you to gratify us with your statement thank you so much Prime Minister of the Republic of Mauritius, the Honorable Praveen Kumar Jagannathji, senior ministers and dignitaries of Mauritius, distinguished guests, Namaskar, Bonjour. My warm greetings to all of you. First of all, I congratulate the government and people of Mauritius for effective management of the COVID-19 global pandemic. I'm happy that India was able to support this effort through timely supplies of medicines and sharing of experience. Friends, today we celebrate yet another landmark in the special friendship between India and Mauritius. The new Supreme Court building in Port Louis is a symbol of our cooperation and our shared values. Both India and Mauritius respect our independent judiciaries as important pillar of our democratic systems. This impressive new building with its modern design and construction is a mark of this respect. I'm happy that this project has been completed on schedule and within the initial estimated cost. Prime Minister Jagannath Ji, only a few months back, we have jointly inaugurated the landmark metro project and a new state-of-the-art hospital. I'm happy to know that both these projects are proving useful for the people of Mauritius. Friends, it was in Mauritius that I had first spoken about India's vision of Sagar, security and growth for all in the region. This is because Mauritius is at the heart of India's approach to the Indian Ocean region. And today, I want to add that Mauritius is also at the heart of India's approach to development partnerships. Friends, Mahatma Gandhi had rightly said, and I quote, I do want to think in terms of the whole world. My patriotism includes the good of mankind in general. Therefore, my service of India includes the service of humanity." Unquote. This is India's guiding philosophy. 
India wants to develop and India wants to help others in their own development needs. Friends, India's approach to development is mainly human centric. We want to work for the welfare of humanity. History has taught us that in the name of development partnerships, nations were forced into dependence partnerships. It gave rise to colonial and imperial rule. It gave rise to global power blocks and humanity suffered. Friends, India is making development partnerships that are marked by respect, diversity, care for the future, sustainable development. Friends, for India, the most fundamental principle in development cooperation is respecting our partners. The sharing of development lessons is our only motivation. That is why our development cooperation does not come with any conditions. It is not influenced by political or commercial considerations. Friends, India's development partnerships are diverse. From commerce to culture, energy to engineering, health to housing, IT to infrastructure, sports to science, India is working with nations across the globe. If India is honored to help in the parliament building in Afghanistan, it is also proud to be associated in the making of Mahatma Gandhi Convention Center in Niger. We have been happy to help Nepal improve its health services through construction of an emergency and trauma hospital. And we were similarly privileged to support Sri Lanka's efforts to establish emergency ambulance services in all nine provinces. We are glad that the oil pipeline project we are doing with Nepal will help ensure availability of petroleum products. And similarly, we are delighted to contribute towards ensuring availability of drinking water and sanitation in 34 islands of the Maldives. We have tried to make cricket popular in countries as diverse as Afghanistan and Guyana by helping build stadiums and other facilities. We are excited to see the young Afghan cricket team train in India emerge as a force to reckon with. We are now providing similar support to develop the talent of the Maldives cricket players. We consider it a matter of immense pride that India is at the forefront of a major housing project in Sri Lanka. Our development partnership reflects the development priorities of our partner nations. Friends, 
India is not only proud to be helping your present, we consider it our privilege to help you create a be better future for your youth, for your next generation. That is why training and skilling is such an important part of our development cooperation. They will make youngsters in our partner nations self-reliant and more confident to guide the future of newer heights. Friends, the future is about sustainable development. Human needs and aspirations cannot be in conflict with our natural surroundings. That is why we believe in both human empowerment and care for the environment. Based on this philosophy, India has made efforts to nurture new institutions like the International Solar Alliance, ISA. Let the rays of the sun brighten the journey of human progress. We are also working on a strong coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure. Both initiatives are of special relevance to island countries. The manner in which the global community has supported these efforts is heartening. Friends, all these values I spoke about come together in our special partnership with Mauritius. With Mauritius, we share not only the waters of the Indian Ocean, but also a common heritage of kinship, culture, and language. Our friendship draws strength from the past and also looks toward the future. India takes pride in the achievements of the people of Mauritius. From the narrow steps of sacred Apravasi Ghat of this modern building, Mauritius has built its success through hard work and innovation. The spirit of Mauritius is inspiring. Our partnership is destined to soar in a higher in the coming years. Viva Lamite Antra Lande Mauritius Bharat or Mauritius Maitri Amar Rahe. Long live India Mauritius friendship. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Prime Minister of India, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We have now come to the end of our ceremony. We certainly witnessed a very important milestone in the special relations between Mauritius and India. It has also been a very historic moment for the Supreme Court of Mauritius and our justice system. On behalf of all the guests, I wish to reiterate our deep gratitude to our two leaders, our two prime ministers. Thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you. We will move somewhere. to what extent the relationship between India and Mauritius has uh, come to and uh, how uh, the long-living relationship has been further